looking for some wonderful prayer point. This is team 11 and Sister Sophia Forbes is our team leader. And I was hinted and told uh, quietly, I'm gonna let the secret out of the bag that our presenter for tonight is none other than Pastor Johnson. And it is quite okay for the person whom he has seated beside him, but I will leave the honors to him. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome tonight and may the Lord bless us in a wonderful presentation and prayer point. God bless you and we are all anxiously listening in. I turn over, is Sister Sophia on to present our presenter tonight? Sophia is on Brother Arthur? No, no, she's not on. I'm then not I turn over on. to you to, to do the honors, sir. Brother Thank Arthur, you. you take us there. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bishop. Good night, everyone. Welcome to another uh, Monday night prayer meeting. You know, we are happy. We are blessed to, to be able to gather, you know, together tonight and to just seek the face of the Lord, worship the Lord, you know, worship in spirit and in truth. Uh, as Bishop had mentioned before, he has already let the cat out the bag. But uh, our presenter tonight, we are Team 11. Uh, by the way, and um, let me just bring up the the slide and um, just to brief you on uh, the members of the team and so on. So we are team number 11 and our, our focus is on Nehemiah 12, that is our mandate. And uh, our members include Sister Sophia Forbes, myself, Arthur Laidley, uh, Pastor David Johnson, Evangelist Camilla Johnson, uh, Sister Audrey Wallace, and Sister Nikisha Sachel. Now, tonight, uh, December 19th, we will have as our presenter uh, Pastor David Johnson. And we just want to make you welcome, man of God. I know tonight is a big night for you, and especially because you have the support by your side. I see your smile just bigger Come than on, any other no? smile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to welcome you as well, uh, uh, Evangelist Camelia, because, you know, yes. I know you have missed a few of our presentation. And, yes. um, you know, it is really good that um, tonight we can share with you, you can get a little taste of what it is that we're doing. So, you know, we welcome you as well. But uh, without further ado, Pastor David Johnson, sir, you have the microphone. Thank you so much, Brother Arthur. I greet you well, my bishop. Bishop, yes. Doctor, thank you, sir. Never God bless you. And of course, I want to also add my commendation to the team, the media team, of such hard work and dedication that yes. they have done over the years. You know, Sister Tracy, Brother Arthur, and the other persons who are very much mm -hmm. appreciated and have, you know, put themselves into the success of the media team kudos to you tonight. And of course, our other participants online, I greet you well tonight. And of course, you can see that my smile has changed. As a matter of fact, I'm now laughing. My laugh has changed. <laughs> and Bishop is giving me a round of applause. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> my wife is home. Bless Aye. the name of the Lord. And uh, I just want to give her the opportunity to greet the platform before we proceed tonight. Wife, evangelist. Oh, oh Lord, oh Lord, listen, when I'm given a big hat, you know, I don't know how to fill it. But anyway, <laughs> let me go ahead and I first must say thanks to heaven, to Daddy Jesus. Yes. Thanks to our heavenly King for oh, giving me the opportunity to do what I did and to know I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm here again. I tell you, I, I was saying a while ago that I felt like a fish out of water, believe it or not. It is so when, 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 when you you are, you know, when your life is devoted to the service and to do the will of God and to do everything that he wants you to do. And when you step away from it, not that his presence is away from you, but just the fellowship and the love. And I must say to my bishop, Sir Neville Owens, listen, the, the, the prayers, I know, these are these are the things that kept me going. And of course, with every, every member, every person, you know, Sister Tracy and everyone who would have reached out, prayed, 
thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And of course, to my mother, my spiritual mother, Lady Rev. Jen, wherever you are, if you're hearing, God bless you, mommy. And thank you, thank you, thank you, family. It's an honor to be back. And I tell you, listen. I, I can't keep my hands off, but, but you know, we have to, we have to, we have to you know, uh, you know, uh, present ourselves as living sacrifice unto the Lord at this moment so that he may use us, <laughs> use us for the glory of his name. You, 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 you have me sweating, man. My God. <laughs> God is good. God is good. God is absolutely good. Bless amazing. the name of the Lord. Amen. That is a good God. Amen. You know, I was listening to a song uh, by a very well-known minister of the gospel, uh, Todd Galbert. And uh, he said, after all of these years, you're still good. Yes. You're so good. Mm -hmm. After all of these years and uh, after all of these months, January to December, here we are. We are still among the living. Yes, we have grappled with disappointments. Yes, we have some who fell, you know, fell by the wayside. Yes, we have some soldiers that went home to glory, but we are still here. Mm -hmm. After all of these years, you are still good. Hallelujah. Just open your mic right now and just shout a hallelujah. 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 Bless the name Amen. of the Lord. So tonight, our focus is on Nehemiah chapter 12. And I just want to commend the different teams that, you know, has went before to lay such a wonderful foundation. Our bishop, the other leaders, the, our elders, uh, our pastors, you know, I want to commend you for such an awesome job that you have done. It's, the Bible says the entrance to thy word give it life. Mm. And that's what we are here to do. We are not just here to show our faces, but we are here to set an example for the generation to come. My God, oh, we are yes. here to set an example that, listen, this is the footstep that we want you to model. Yes. This is what we yes. want you yes. to do. Yes. We yes. want you to get into the word of yes. God. So I won't go through all of Nehemiah chapter 12, but what I really want to focus on tonight with the help and the support of my wife is uh, uh, verse 27. Let's start at verse 27. Yes. Hallelujah. Because Nehemiah, we're talking about dedication. We're talking about sanctification. And we're talking about a act of worship yes. that was demonstrated through Nehemiah. Nehemiah was a great leader. Nehemiah was an exemplified leader. He stood up, he stand up, and he demonstrated what God wanted him to do. Mm -hmm. And he did just that. Yes. He did just that. Verse 27. Nehemiah chapter 12, verse 27. And at the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem. Now, at this time, the walls were already established. Yes. The walls were already erected. The walls were already built, restructured, mm -hmm. reorganized. The walls were already in existence. So what here we see here is a profound declaration. And at the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought the Levites out of all their places to bring them to Jerusalem to keep the dedication with what? Gladness, yes. both with thanksgiving mm -hmm. and with singing, with symbols, sultry and heart. My God, that alone can, can just complete the entire night. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. That alone, we can, just, we can just lock the Bible and just talk about that. Because we are talking about something that the people, they toiled over. Yes. Something that Nehemiah had, his own share of discouragement over mm. something that Nehemiah at some point he felt, oh God, what such a great task that you have given me. Mm. But what was remarkable about Nehemiah, his character, he never gave up. Never. Nehemiah mm. never gave up. Nehemiah, even though the battle got hot, oh my God, mm -hmm. even though things 
weren't really coming in uh, together as he wanted it to. Nehemiah stood true to the cause. Yes. Nehemiah yes. stood true to yes. the cause. Yes. Even though some people may criticize you, even though some mm -hmm. people may say, oh, what that you do? Yes. Oh, what kind of vision that you do? You, 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 you in your rightful mind think God will give you such a big vision? Listen, man, we serve the big God. We serve a big and glorious God. And oh, there is God. absolutely mm -hmm. nothing impossible with him and for him. Amen. Amen. So we see we're in uh, 27 to 29. Hallelujah. The gathering of the Levites for the dedication ceremony. Now at the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought out the Levites in all their places uh, to bring them to Jerusalem to celebrate the dedication. Now we have reached to this place, evangelists. Yeah. It's time to celebrate. It's time to celebrate. And I want to share this nugget with you. I've learned from a great, a good friend that on this journey called life, mm. don't be so consumed that you don't pause long enough to celebrate your victories. Yes. Come, on. Come on. You need to stop long mm. enough. You need to pause long enough yes. to celebrate what God has done, mm -hmm. what he will do. One, 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 one preacher man says, when you say thanks, it's 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 a magnet to receive more. More, amen, amen. When you say thank you, yes, it's a yes. magnet to receive more. It know what it does. It opens the realms of the spirit. So wow, there goes a grateful sister. Mm -hmm. There goes a grateful brother. I'm gonna give him more. Yeah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. So we see that they dedicated the walls with gladness, both with thanksgiving and singing, with cymbals and string instruments and harps. And the sons of the singers gathered themselves from the countryside around Jerusalem, from the villages of the Netophathites, from the house of Gilga, and from the mm -hmm. fields of Geba and Azmavet. For the singers had built themselves villages all around Jerusalem. They sought out the, the Levites. Mm -hmm. Now, there was something special about the Levites. Yeah. The Levites, they were known to be people of worship. It's like they knew how to evoke mm -hmm. the presence of God. Mm -hmm. They knew how to bring down mm -hmm. an anointing in the house. Mm -hmm. They knew how to bring down thanksgiving in the house. Mm -hmm. They knew that when a broken person comes, yes. that broken person will not leave the same mm -hmm. way. Listen, yes. we're talking about worship tonight. And it is so fitting that we talk about worship tonight because indeed we are worshipers. Yes. Our life is a life of worship. We we live worship. We talk worship. Mm -hmm. Worship is in our DNA, so it is something easy for us to do, right, one of God? Yes, yes. So, so, so we see that there was dedication mm -hmm. with gladness, dedication with joy, dedication with worship and thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That's something to pause long enough to receive. Let it mm -hmm. marry. Yes. Let it marinate. Let it marinate. Hallelujah. Let it marinate. Not only did they dedicate the walls, but mm -hmm. there was also a ceremony of purification. Now understand mm -hmm. this, that the next chapter of your life, where you are right now, the experiences that you have garnered, mm -hmm. it is important. It's necessary that you have gone through those. And for the next chapter that God will take you into, it's going to even require a higher level of dedication and purification. Amen. Because the next level you go, best believe that there is a next devil waiting for you. The higher you go is the higher, the, the, is, is the more intense the war, the warfare gets. Yes. Yes. So yes, they have gone through, they have hurdled over this obstacle. Yes. They have hurdled over this one, but there comes another one. Are you ready? Are, is your heart in the right place? Mm -hmm. God wants us to posture our heart. God wants us to posture our minds that we do not forget what is first. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Yes. Yes. And everything else will be added unto you. Mm -hmm. Now we talk about worship evangelists. 
you are a worshiper in your mm -hmm. own rights. Yes. God has called you. You are convicted. You are convinced. You are mm -hmm. confident of this thing that you, many were called, but many are called, but few are chosen. You are one. You are the few that was chosen mm -hmm. to, 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 to what, what, what's the word now? To lead worship. Mm -hmm. What has that done for you? What, how, how could you describe your experiences over the years as it relates to worship? Because we're going to tie this in. We want the people to understand that worship is not uh, how pretty you can sing. Mm -hmm. Worship is not how nice you can right. harmonize. Yes. Worship is not how good you can organize mm -hmm. or put together songs. Yes. Talk to the yes. people. Yes, 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 yes. Um, you know, you know, as as Pastor Johnson was 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 speaking a while ago, um, it brought me back to when I just started out as a worshiper, when I just started out, just a little girl in church. And I remember, I remember every morning that I would go and we would gather the worship team together, my mother would say to me at age 12. She would say to me, the first thing you would do mm. is to make sure that you have repented. Mm. Make sure that your heart is postured before you even open your mouth, yes. right? That purification, that process of dedication, that process of putting yourself to that point where when you open your mouth, something has to happen. Something must happen, mm. right? And oftentimes, oftentimes, you know, that even, even, even even in the word of the lord when it when it said you know things like uh, before you come before god uh, mm. make it right do mm. what you need to do get yourself uh, in that place so that god can move because nothing nothing is worse than someone who will open their mouth and there is no effect there is no there is nothing nothing is there it's just empty and i'm i'm sure that we all have been to that place mm. where sometimes you worship sometimes you sing and you're like god i know i should be doing this or i, sh I, I should be here or um that this should be what i'm feeling but i'm not there when you're not there then you need to check what is going on and what you need to rectify and as pastor johnson said a while ago as you go it's like you're you're, you're climbing over hurdles mm. and every every hurdle you go over the next one become harder but guess what happened you would have gone at the experience and the wisdom that you would need to go over the next one and then the next one become becomes bigger but then then guess what that experience or what you have gone through would have been that stepping stone for you to move forward so that's so 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 that's the thing and when it comes on to worshiping and us as a worship as, as worshipers right and how we must walk it talk it mm. every day speak it right now the songs of the song should be flowing off your a grateful heart mm. and as pastor johnson said a while ago when you have a grateful heart then you're open to the uh, abundance of mm. blessing from god right the abundance of protection mm. the abundance of guidance the abundance of revelation mm. the abundance of deliverance mm. you name it you have opened yourself to the abundance of heaven mm. when you have uh, postured your heart right after repenting after going through uh, that sanctification process, mm. uh, posturing your heart, uh, being grateful, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into its courts with praise, right? The word of the Lord will have lined out everything that we need to get to that place where we need to be so we don't feel lacking, we don't feel, we don't feel dry. We have the tools that we need and we ought to use them. So, hallelujah. 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 Absolutely. Hallelujah. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, exhortation, woman of God. I appreciate what you have shared with us tonight. And uh, just to amplify, you know, what one of the things that you have shared um, as it relates to worship and, uh, and uh, primarily what we want to focus on as we even close out the uh, uh, 2022 chapter and go by the grace of God into 2023. 
that we understand why we were created. Yes. We understand who created us mm -hmm. and, and, and what was his intention, yes. what was his purpose, what is what was in the mind of God when he said, listen, I'm going to create David Johnson. Yes. I'm going to create Camilla Plunkett Johnson. Yes. And I want the both of them to come together. I'm yes. going to create Tracy. I'm going to create Brother Arthur. What was God's intention? Yes. God wanted fellowship with man. Yes. God wanted us to come together and to fellowship with him. And, and, and one of the things that pull men from God is our mind. Our mind. Oh, we are not good enough. Yes, we fall down, but listen, get back up, brother. You fell down, sister. Yes. Get back up because there is a journey. It yes. is a journey. It's a journey. It's, yeah. a journey. it's a journey. So do not for any point in time say, oh, I'm going to hang up my boots now because this is it. Yes. No, no, yes, no. Yes. It's not it. It's yes. not the end. It is not the end. So we want you to understand when you worship, when you come, when you gather, when you gather with the saints on a Sunday morning, when you gather with the saints in the virtual space on a Monday evening, it, it's, it's not just a, a football match that we're yes. coming to watch. We're coming to lift up the name of Jesus. We're coming to glorify the name of Jesus. We're coming to exalt him. We're coming to magnify him. We're coming to put him at the place that he should be and will be we're coming with an agenda to please god amen we're amen. coming to lift him up in spite of how you are feeling in spite of what you are mm -hmm. grappling with put that aside yes. because that's just secondary yes yes amen that is just secondary but primary primarily mm -hmm. we need to worship Yes. And when we worship, we worship with gladness. Mm. We worship with joy. Very Come on, man. I mean, I, I, I was gonna share, I was gonna say, have you ever seen how they do it in the world? But 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 something grabbed me. Yes. We were in the world. Amen. Amen. We were Amen. in the That's world. We, did it. We, we, yep. we are coming from the world yes. where we used to party. You yes. are you you are you are in the whole scheme of the yes. arts where you yes. dance and you sing mm -hmm. and the energy that you exerted yes. in that scheme of things you think god no one greater and more and greater and more come on and, and deserve and even mm. better and even better yes so when we come to god we yes. dedicate ourselves yes. we purify our minds we say god yes. how i was i am no more i am is you are mine i am coming to present my worship my offering to you god you may not be the best singer, that's fine. But as my bishop would say on uh, one Sunday morning, listen, my best worship is when I'm in my bathroom and I don't care who wants to talk about me. I come with a joyful noise. Mm, Unto the Lord, hallelujah. hallelujah. What's your joyful noise? Yes. What's your joyful noise? Mm -hmm. What can you when, you, when you, when you say a hallelujah, what depth is it coming from? Mm -hmm. Yes. We, what place is it coming from? Mm -hmm. When Nehemiah gathered and he said, listen, it is time for us to gather Judah. Let's put yes. Judah first. Mm -hmm. When he gathered the singers, when he said, listen, it's mm -hmm. time to worship. Mm -hmm. When he put the choirs together and said, oh, come on, we need, we need, we need praise and worship over there. And he called the drummers and he called the keyboardists and he said, let's worship God in the spirit of holiness. Mm. That's what we're here to do tonight. Yes, yes. Jubilation, yes. ebullience, radiance, mm. gratification, mm. gladness, joyfulness. Yes. God no want a daddy daddy Christian. Mm. He no want a dry up Christian. Mm. God wants you to come to him with yes. enthusiasm. He wants you to come to him with confidence, yes. knowing that he is the rewarder of mm. them. That diligently seek him. Yes. Mm. God is not a pure, pure God. God, yes. he said it and he will do it. Amen. He stand by his word 100%. He mm. will not change. He will not become fickle-minded. Yes. He will not go back on what he said. Mm. He said it and it's final. Amen. But we have a part to do, love and faith. Yes. Facebook, mm. we have a part to do. Have part we have a part to the leaders. Yes. 
Let us not become weary in well-doing. Let us not become weary in our worship to God. Let us not become weary in our yes. offering to him. Mm -hmm. Not to be men pleasers, but to please him and him alone. When everybody else not looking, who you think looking at you? When you think everybody else not seeing you, who you think seeing you? Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. 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 Let our worship come from a place of sincerity, of genuineness, and honesty, transparency, unedited. Give him your best. Yes. Hallelujah. Give him yeah. your best tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 So hallelujah. 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 Your mind have been hallelujah. I pray tonight that hallelujah. your thoughts have been shifted. Yes. I pray mm. tonight that you have a change of heart and know you're seeing and understanding that worship is not just a, a favorite song or one of your song in your playlist, but it's a lifestyle that, that you live. Every hallelujah. Day. Every day, on, every no day, you Come walk on. it, you talk it, you breathe it. Worship, it must be. And the thing about it is we know, we know. The Bible said that the angels in heaven, that's their 24 hour Ooh. job right around the clock. Yeah. 10, seven days of the week, if they have 10 up there, yes. 10 days of the week, 11 yeah. days of the week, that's what they Hello. do. Hello. So when it is, when we are given the opportunity to open our mouths and come from a place of sincerity mm. as Pastor Johnson would say, and a heart of gratitude mm. to open our mouths and do our part. It yes. must be, uh, I find one of Bishop, uh, it magnificent. It yeah. must, it yeah. must, yeah. listen, it must, it must be transformed. Transforming, yes, transforming and renewing, Absolutely. not only not only to the person who is hearing your voice, yes. but even to you, your mm. situation, your life, your children, your marriage, whomever. Mm. It must be transforming. Yes. Something must happen. Yes. You must see something happen yes. when you yes. open your mouth to worship. When you open your mouth to worship, yes. something must shift. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Must shift. Hallelujah. 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 He, inhab Hallelujah. he inhabits the praise of his yes. people. He inhabits our worship. Oh, sweet smelling mm. fragrance. He said, mm, I love that. I love it. Thank you. Hey, hallelujah. Thank hallelujah. You. hallelujah. And that's where we Thank want you. to be. And that's where we should be. And yes. that's where we're pressing forward to be. So Hallelujah. our prior points for tonight, Pastor Hallelujah. Thomas is going to go Hallelujah. through them. Hallelujah. And he is going to ask, you know, whomever to, to, to pray. Mm. And we all should pray. We all should pray. Yes. But that one person, open your mic and just pray. Yes. And then we all come in agreement. Hallelujah. And knowing that moving forward, today, the 19th of the last month of the year, mm. knowing that today is a different day for us moving forward, knowing that we're going to do some adjustments, we're going to do something different, hallelujah. right? Hallelujah. Something has to happen. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 We come to you soon. Hallelujah. All right? <laughs> hallelujah. 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 So at this time, we are going into a time of prayer. And before we go into prayer, woman of God, I'm, I felt impressed in my heart to, mm. to do this song. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne. Hallelujah. You are God alone. And right now, in the good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone. You are God alone. From before time began, you are on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, in the good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone. He's unchangeable. Yes, he 
is unshakable. Come on. Is unstoppable. That's who you are. Is unchangeable. Is unshakable. Is unstoppable. That's what you are. For you are not alone. From before time began, you are on your throne. You are God alone. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He is God alone in the good and in the bad times. Not only when things are going good, that you, that's when you're going to call him good. But in the good times no. and in the bad times, I said he is a good God. Oh, Hallelujah. He God. is a good God. He's unchangeable. He's unshakable. And he's unstoppable. That's who he is. Period. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 So I'm going to task a few persons on this uh, platform tonight. Not sure how many persons we have. Uh, Brother Artie can assist me. Hallelujah. We're going to ask uh, Sister Tracy uh, for her to pray for the spirit of oneness and unity to be evident among leaders and brethren. Hallelujah. Make a note of that woman of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, Bishop, I'm going to ask you to pray for the leaders, ministers, and saints to continue living a life of sanctification before God, before the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Brother Arthur, I'm going to task you to pray, hallelujah, for a true revival of praise and worship to begin with us that will spread like wildfire. It must begin with us. It must begin with us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It must begin with us. Uh, evangelist, I'm going to ask you to pray for the people of God to thrive for, the, for, 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 for an encounter from God that will change change the temperature of their worship. Hallelujah. Man of God, Hallelujah. just put up the prayer points as we are going into prayer at this time. Hallelujah. Sister Tracy, you're going to take the button first and you're going to pass it over to Brother Arthur. Hallelujah. And we continue like that. Bless the name Hallelujah. of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank Father, you, God. We exalt you tonight. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you honor and we give you praise. God, you're indeed an awesome God. You are wonderful, Lord. You are worthy, worthy, worthy of our praise. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you that you inhabit the praises of your people. Hallelujah. Oh, mighty God, we thank you, Lord, that it is when we come up as one in unity. Mighty God, that mighty God deliverance takes place. Oh, mighty God, that blessings takes place, oh God. Mighty God, I in the scriptures, mighty God, when the apostles, mighty God, were in the upper room, mighty God. And when they were in one accord is when your spirit, oh, hallelujah, descended upon them, oh, like tongues of fire and it transformed their lives it transformed a nation mighty god it transformed the people hallelujah so such as mighty god that i'm asking lord that the spirit of oneness and of unity mighty god among our leaders and our brethren oh mighty god will be made manifest mighty god as it did in the days of old hallelujah Oh, mighty God, so that we can cover one another, Lord. Lord, that we will come in love, mighty God. Oh, mighty God, that we'll be our brother's keeper. Hallelujah. Oh, mighty God. Oh, hallelujah. I praise you. Hallelujah. Oh, mighty God, so that as we come together, mighty God, your purpose is established in the kingdom, oh God. Mighty God, that we can hear from you, Lord knowing that you are God, knowing that you are our savior, knowing mighty God that you are the reward of those who diligently speak. So I cover the leadership, mighty God. I cover them even now, mighty God. Oh, hallelujah, that they, mighty God, will come before you. Oh, mighty God, to hear what you have to say, mighty God, concerning your people, concerning your will, concerning your desire, Lord. 
and we, mighty God, as brethren, mighty God, will uplift and uphold our leaders, oh God, because mighty God, we are one. Mighty God, it's one church, it's one body, Lord. So let us stand, oh God, hallelujah, as one, as we come together to support mighty God, the kingdom of God, oh mighty God, that it be established in the earth, Lord. Lord, it is when we come in unity, Lord, that your kingdom is established, oh God. You said that a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand, oh God. So Lord, I thank you even now for the unity amongst our brethren and amongst our leaders. So Lord, we give you praise, Lord. We give you glory and we give you honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Thank you. We are in agreement tonight. Go ahead, man of God. Hallelujah. Yes. Pastor David, just remind me of my uh, prayer point, please. You know, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For a true revival of mm -hmm. praise and worship to begin with us that mm. will spread like wildfire. Mm. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let us pray. Mm. Father, we give you thanks tonight. It is indeed a privilege and a great honor to be here tonight in spirit and in truth, O oh God, to seek your face on the matters that are concerning our hearts tonight, mm -hmm. Almighty God. Lord, we surrender to you, O oh God. Lord, I surrender myself to you, O oh God. Lord, I pray for a washing and a deep cleansing, O oh God. Lord, I ask that you would remove every hindrance, O oh God. Lord, cleanse the atmosphere, remove every hindrance, remove every obstacle, O oh God, that would come in the way, O oh God, of this prayer, that would come in the way of your people, that would seek, O oh God, to set us apart or set us on a wrong or a negative part, path, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God, as we surrender ourselves to you, O oh God, we seek your face concerning our worship, Almighty oh God. We seek your face, O oh God, as we concern ourselves with how it is that you want us to, to serve you, almighty God. Lord, would you quicken our spirits in the mighty name of Jesus, O God. Would you do something unusual in the midst of the believer tonight, almighty God. Would you do something unusual in your church, almighty God. Let your presence be so Help, almighty God, like never before, almighty God. Stir up, O oh God, the fire, the fire, O oh God, in us. Stir up something, O oh God, in us that will cause us to seek you on another level, almighty God. Let there be a panting, O oh God, after your spirit, almighty God. Let there be a deep down desire, O oh God, from our hearts, O oh God, to, to seek you and to worship you in spirit and in truth, almighty God. Like a Zacchaeus, O oh God, who, who was so short, but he went ahead, O oh God, climbed into a tree so that he could have an encounter with you, almighty God. Yes, mighty God, stir us up in the name of Jesus, oh God. Let your fire burn. Let your Holy Ghost fire burn within us, almighty God. Stir us up yet again, almighty God. Yes, Lord, there are days when we don't feel like worship, when we don't feel like praising, but Lord, I pray for a revival among your people in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Let this be the revival of spirit, almighty God. Let us put flesh aside. Let us put everything that concerns us aside, almighty God, and let us focus on the spirit of the living God, the one true God, the God, the God of heaven, the God of the God of Isaac, the God of Moses, the God of Jacob, the God of Abraham, the God, the God, the God of our lives, almighty God. Yes, tonight, God. Yes, oh God, we ask for that fire, that revival fire, oh God, to be stirred up into our spirits, oh God. And as we seek you tonight, oh God, Lord, we don't want flesh. We don't want flesh to be revived, oh God. We want flesh to be slain, oh God. So Lord, if there is one who does not know how to serve you, how to seek you, almighty God, Lord, we pray that like a Philip, you would, that you would have sent 
to the, to the Ethiopian eunuch, yes, Lord, send a man that would teach us, that would show us the way. Send a John the Baptist, almighty God, that would teach and to train us and show us the way, almighty God, how to worship and how to worship you in spirit and in truth. Yes, Lord, like a Zacchaeus that wanted an experience, like a Moses that encountered you in the burning bush, like a Samuel in the temple, Lord, that encountered you and said, speak, Lord, for your servant hear it. Yes, Lord, stir us up afresh in the mighty name of Jesus and cause that revival to spring out of us, oh God, like the living water that you spoke of to the Samaritan woman at the well. Yes, mighty God, we thank you tonight, oh God. We are in our right minds. Things may not be perfect, but we choose to focus on you, oh God, who are perfect. You, oh God, who can make everything perfect. You are not concerned with our weaknesses, almighty God. So we humbly come before you, God, and we ask, oh God, that you would wash us afresh, sanctify us, and cleanse us so that our utterances, oh God, would be acceptable unto you, oh God. Yes, Lord, let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable unto you, almighty God. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh upon your people tonight, almighty God. Lord, we thank you for platforms like Zoom and Facebook. Lord, we put us in one room even though we are in separate places so lord we realize that distance is not a factor lord almighty god but it's just the oneness the spirit of the living god that is in each of us oh god that indwelling spirit almighty god yes tonight lord we thank you we glorify you and we magnify you oh god yes lord stir us up afresh yes lord yes lord like an Esther, who could speak in the ears of the king so that a Mordecai would find favor. Yes, Lord, we pray that you, we would find favor in the spirit of the living God tonight. Oh, God. Yes, Lord, we thank you tonight. We bless you. We bless you, God. We bless you. We bless you. We thank you for your word, almighty God. We thank you for the obedience of your saints. We thank you for the obedience of the presenter tonight, Pastor David. We thank you for the obedience of his wife, Evangelist Camilla. We thank you, O oh Lord, for the obedience of Bishop Neville Owens, O oh God, one who you have set out like a Nehemiah to lay a blueprint for us and say, deliver, follow, lead, go forth, children of God, and do. This is what God has placed on my heart. And so, Lord, we move forward in confidence, knowing that you have led us to this place of Nehemiah 12. You have led us from January to December, God. And so we glorify you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, conquering line of the tribe of Judah. Yes, Lord, you you and you alone are God. You are on your throne. So whether it's a good night tonight or a bad night tonight, as the song was sing, sung earlier, whether we are in a good mood or a bad mood, Lord, in your presence there is fullness of joy. So we shake off the bad vibes and the bad feelings. We shake off uncertainty in the mighty name of Jesus. And we present ourselves to you, God. And we say, Lord, wash us afresh. Consecrate. Sanctify us, God. Fill our mouths with what we ought to say. For there are times when we know not what to preach, but the Holy Spirit intercedes on our behalf. And so tonight, God, I thank you that the Holy Spirit speaks through me, O oh God. For these are not my words, Almighty God, but these are the words of the Spirit. And the Spirit declares that the word of God, it is spirit and it is life. So Lord, tonight we thank you for life. We thank you for moments like this, almighty God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We could have been anywhere tonight, but we have chosen to be here, oh God. So we thank you for the spirit of obedience. We thank you for grace, almighty God. It is not in our own strength that we have made it here tonight. We're not here to try to please the bishop, but Lord, even in the absence of Jesus, the disciples knew it wasn't the presence of Jesus, but it was his teachings that remained. So Lord, we have subjected ourselves and we are honoring you tonight because of good teachings, 
good teachers, O oh God, and with a spirit of obedience and a spirit of oneness, we are here tonight to glorify you and to magnify you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So let the, the volcano of praise erupt and burst through our blood vessels tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we thank you tonight and we seal it. We seal it in the blood of Jesus. We Hallelujah. bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Bless Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask Bishop now to, to pray for the leaders, ministers, and saints to continue living a life of sanctification before the Lord. Go ahead, my Bishop. Hallelujah. Awesome. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Lord, we adore you. We exalt and extol your great name. Mm -hmm. We decree and declare, we proclaim, we announce that there is no other God beside you, mm -hmm. above, beneath, or in between. That's why we worship you, Heavenly Father, creator of every living thing, all being, for in you we live, we move, and we have our being. We set tonight aside. Thank you for the leadership of your man and lady servant and maiden that has led us thus far. Thank you for these prayer points that you have laid on their hearts for the body of Christ not just love and faith, but for the body of Christ in this nation. Lord, we bring before you our leaders, our ministers, Lord, our brethren in the body of Christ. And we ask for continuous righteous living, a lifestyle of prayer, a lifestyle of glorious sanctification Hallelujah. set apart yes lord. lord separate lord undiluted unpolluted ignited by the flames of your holy ghost we ask that you would wash us thoroughly entirely from our sinful ways remove every sinful thoughts of apostasy Remove, oh God, everything that would want to come between us and you. Total loyalty, commitment, separate, set aside, Lord, for the master's use. Lord, and if you can do anything, do it through us, with us, for us, in us, and through us. Lord, touch the ministers. May they live a sanctified, consecrated, purified lifestyle. Unctionize your ministers, your leaders, your pastors, the brethren, those who serve in the area of ministry, high and low, God, reaching the nation, reaching the people. God, we pray that you would do it in a special way tonight again. Lord, touch your ministers, touch their children, Consecrate their hearts and lives, wherever they are, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastor, teacher, teachers, Lord, those who live as prayer ministers, those who live as praise and worship ministers, those who serve, oh God, in all the various capacities, we bring them before your altar. We pray that you pour out the water of the word and wash us thoroughly from sinful thoughts, pernicious thoughts, thoughts of licentiousness, lasciviousness, evil, wicked thoughts towards our brothers and sisters. Lord, cleanse our hearts, remove offenses, remove unforgiveness, remove pride and arrogance, haughtiness. Anything that would go before a fall and ensnare us, oh God, we come back to you, the heart of worship. We bow our knees, may they bleed before you. We humble our hearts and we pray, Lord, more priority than theology. Lord, to be like Christ, to know you, whom to know is life eternal. By this shall all men know that we are 
your disciples, that we love the brethren, that we love one another. We bring love and faith ministers before you. We gather them together. One heart, one spirit, one mind, one body, one people for the glory of God. Lord, we throw our gifts at your feet. We lay them down, the talents, the ability, the giftings, the graces, the anointings. Lord, we let them go. Because without you, Lord, and without the grace of God, every man go it as a failure. But tonight, we come back to the place of worship. Teach us, instruct us, inspire us, Lord, and bring us back to a place of humility, transparency, simplicity. Oh, God Almighty, we rededicate our lives. We rededicate ourselves. We rededicate this altar of prayer. Let the fire there not ever go out if we do nothing, may we be a praying community. Lord, a giving community, a loving community, a serving community. Oh, by this shall all men know. We love one another. We love each other. We love the brethren. Help us to love your house, to come together. Not one day is spent out of your presence or out of your courts. Lord, hear us tonight. Meet us on this altar. And at the point of our need, we commit everyone listening, everyone praying, everyone participating, those at home here in Jamaica, those in the region, those in faraway places, Lord, in the cold, in the heat, in the winter, Lord, we bow our hearts, sanctify us, wash us continuously, and help us never to depart from your presence. Lord, hear our prayers tonight, and we commit ourselves, and we tell you thanks. It's done in the precious name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, just lift up your voice right now and just give it Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, just we give you worship. We give you ovation. Yes, Mighty God be exalted. Hallelujah. 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 Evangelist, I'm going to ask you to pray for the people of God mm. to thrive for an encounter, not just yeah. for them to come to church on a Sunday morning religiously, but for them to get an encounter from God that will change the temperature of their worship. Hallelujah, 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 mm. hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. We shout the highest praise. Hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. We echo yes, Lord. It from the bottom of our, mm. our, 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 our loins. We, we echo mm. from the bottom of our belly. We shout hallelujah. 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 Our praises hallelujah. to the King of all yes. kings. Yes. Our yes. praises yes. to the Lord of all kings. Hallelujah. Our high hallelujah. God, the only Gosh, one. Oh, Lord. The Omni, the, the, the oh, omnipotent, omnipotent. oh God, the omnipotent, yes. Uh, yes, the Lord. one who is here, uh, the one who is near to us. Uh, mm. Oh Lord, uh, when we look and Holy we search and, and we and we and we mm. can't find or see uh, no one like you, no, no ta, one ta, ta, can ta, compare ba, 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 to the glory, no mm. one can compare to your glory, Lord. Mm. The that when it shines, it will illuminate the entire atmosphere. Hallelujah. And even someone who is not where you are, they feel yes. it. Yes. Mighty yes. God. Yes. The God, Lord God, Shed that can yes. form and shift Jeez. and renew. Mighty God, our minds, our hearts, Mando our, 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 our spirit man. Oh, Lord. Abba, oh, Jesus. Who we call you. We call you friend. Yes. Oh, yes, oh, 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 
Lord Jesus. Lord, 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 let us realize, yes, oh Lord. God, that there is no one else, no, no one. one else that no we one. have to look to, but to you, almighty God. And the we only way you. that encounter will come we is if we solemnly gaze our eyes on mm. the King of all things. Come when on. we solemnly gaze mm. our eyes on you, Jesus, mm. and when mm. the enemy comes to distract, Jesus. and we're distracted by any, by every and anything, mighty God. Oh, Jesus. God, uh, the Spirit the spirit of, 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 of the spirit of wanting to feel alone God the spirit of uh, um feeling offense mm. oh, Lord, the spirit of feeling as if uh, you don't belong God we come against every spirit that will hinder mm. your glory from shining upon your people yes. and shining through your people I God we come on every demonic oh, God. God attack uh, from the oh, enemy God. we come against it now in the yes. name of Jesus uh, and God, we need to understand that we have the power yes. to open our mouths yes. and to transform our lives. Yes. We have the power because you have given us the power yes. to open our mouth Hallelujah. and to speak Hallelujah. a thing and to yes. see it come, come in pass. manifestation. Yes, Lord. Oh Lord, just like when Saul was on Damascus Road, come mighty on. God, come he on. did not know. Hallelujah. Did not know, but when he saw you and had an encounter oh. with your his entire life was shifted. My His entire God. life was transformed. Yeah. Mighty God, help us to see. Jesus. Help us to see what you're putting in front of us. Uh, that Jesus. we are no dibby dibby people, mm. but we are powerful. We are mighty through you. Because you are made mighty in our lives. Hallelujah. Help us to understand that Jesus. Help us, oh God. Help, help us to realize us. that every day that we get up and our so Help of us, Lord. Will touch the ground. Mm. It is another day to have an encounter with you. Mm. It's another day to commune with you. Mm. It's another mm. day to proceed mm. with you. It's another day to go on a journey with you. Jesus. It's another day for revelation from you. Yes. It's another day for commitment with you. Oh. It's another day for a new life with you, God. Yes. Help us to realize that. Jesus. Mighty mm. God. Mm. Hallelujah. Lord, when we come Hallelujah. to understand that it's never about us or never about what we go through, but it's who we are going through with mm. that makes the difference. Come on, come on. Come Mighty on. God. Mm. I'm not alone. We are not alone. Jesus. Jesus. And I think about our lives uh, being uh, being transformed, God, even in our mm. workplace, schools, wherever we are, uh, even at home, Home, mighty God, uh, the garden, mighty God, the one who comes mm. to help, the person who comes to help us, mighty God, just the radiant of your glory that should be shining yes. around us, God, because uh, we woke up expecting an encounter and we have received mm. the encounter. Yes. So even just the glory of Thank God you, that Jesus. is shining around us, uh, ah, persons are being oh, saved, glory. persons are being set free, yes. persons are being delivered. Yes. It's another Amen. day for newness. Thank you, Jesus. God, let us experience newness. Thank you, Jesus. In you, God. Hallelujah. Yeah, God, let Jesus. us be hungry for you. Yes. Lord, and I'm not going to say to let us be hungry for you, but God, give us a spirit of hunger yes, so that we want to seek you more. My God. God, you said seek and we shall find. Mm. Seek ye first. Seek and then everything else will come. Seek and then oh. everything else that we are asking for uh, spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally Hallelujah. will apply itself. Hallelujah. We seek the king yes. of our kings. We have seen the Holy One. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, help us to get our posture right. Help us to get this mind, uh, this mm. mind that the mm. enemy comes to attack. Help us, God, uh, to know our God. Give us the words, Lord. Yes, Holy Spirit. Yes, that's what the Holy Spirit does. Mm. He teaches, uh, he guides, he shows. Mm. So, Holy Spirit, mm. give us the words to speak over our mind, yes. our mental capacity yes. that we will cover mm. under the blood. 
east, west, north, and south, we will be covered under the blood of Jesus so that the enemy can't come and infect our minds with distractions, with derails, with diversions, mighty God. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Help us, oh God. Help mighty us, God. Help us. Help us, Holy Lord. Spirit. Help us to be steadfast. Lord. Help oh us, God, God. to stay on this journey. Mm. Hey, help us, Lord. Mm. To step each step, each day at a time. The songwriter, the psalmist said, one day at a time. And I yes. know that every day is a day, oh, to commune with you, mighty God. Mm. In your word in Genesis, you came down in the cool of the day to reason with Adam. God, we want to reason mm. with you. Hallelujah. We want to be at that place to be able to reason with you, Daddy. Mm. Because when we reason with you, everything else will make sense. Mm. Yes, Lord. Jesus. But when our heart is not in the right place, Daddy, when our heart is not in the right place, things become harder. Mm. Things, be mm. things don't make sense. We get weary, frustrated, don't want to tired to the point where we don't even know how to stand up and declare a thing mm. lord oh, help jesus. us to get rid of that mindset and to take and to get out of it jesus help us to see oh, what you're doing jesus. around us we ask questions it don't make sense things don't make sense but god when we trust in you yes. knowing that you are all powerful it is you who commune with us to make it make sense god mm. and our questions our questions that we have or had now becomes a point of worshiping to say thank you, Abba. Thank you, Daddy. Hallelujah. Help us to walk in daily commun communion mm. with you, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's all we ask for daily communion with you, Abba. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you. Whatever we need to get rid of, help us. Show it to us, mighty God. Show it to us, Daddy. What we need to let go, what we need to let go of, mm. what we need to rid ourselves from, the situation that we need to get up out of, mighty God. Lord, show it, show it to us, mighty God. Lord, bring Lord, and I know if this is the prayer of our hearts, Lord, you will show up like you have never showed up before because we're coming from a heart of gratefulness. We're coming from a heart of humbleness. We're coming from a heart mm. of, of settling before you and allowing you to direct, to lead, to instruct. Lord, every day is another day mm. to have a greater encounter with you. Yes. Thank you. And we will know that we were not born to just come and live this life and just go through oh. and then be with you. Hallelujah. But there is purpose in our every walk, in our every talk, in our every step. Yes, Lord. In every word that mm. we speak out of our mouth, we need to understand that there is a purpose there. Hallelujah. Lord, we tell you thanks, Daddy. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, even as you would have come to my heart, God, we repent. Yes, oh. We repent of sins known, unknown, said and unsaid. We repent of the sins of our forefathers that, are, that, that is walking with us, that will hinder us from experiencing you as we ought to. We repent. Yes, sir. We repent, Abba, before you tonight. And we will know moving forward that every day is a day to encounter you to encounter your glory mm. to encounter the things that we would not have even imagined or think. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Yes, 
we give you the thanks. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. And we bless your holy, righteous, magnificent name. Amen. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank, thank you, Lord. Thank Father, you, Lord. tonight we thank, thank you. Jesus. We pray, mighty God, that our hearts will be at the place that we will live, that we will live in prior before you, God, mm -hmm. that we will stay in communion with you, Lord, that we may, our ears will be tuned to the frequency Jesus. of heaven, and that we will hear your voice, and when we hear your voice, we will respond with a yes, yes Lord, Jesus. send me, I will go. We will respond with a yes, Abba, I hear you, mm -hmm. and I will do. Jesus. We will respond in yes, and it submitting and surrender, and giving of ourselves to him tonight, and moving forward. So God, let us give us, Lord, Lord, let us unearth the prayer language that was already there. Oh my God, bring us back to that place that that, that, that tiredness will not be a thing. Oh my God, when, when, when you have called us to prayer, so that, 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 that we will not submit to how we feel, but we will ride above our emotions and we will come before the Lord. We will come with a meeting or appointment to meet with him at three o'clock in the morning, at four o'clock in the morning, at five o'clock in the morning. We will be honorable to our appointments and we will be consistent, fervent in prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you now. We thank you for what you have done, for what mm. you will do in and through our lives. We give you praise and we give you the honor. In Jesus' name, somebody say amen. 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 Somebody say amen. 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 Bless you. Again. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me just make let's just make this declaration together. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I decree and declare. I decree, I, I and, decree declare and declare that through the spirit of adoption, that through that the through spirit, the of, spirit of, adoption, of adoption, whereby I am here to God. Whereby, Whereby I am here, here to, God. to God and joined here to Jesus Christ. And joined here, here to Jesus Christ. I have authorization. I have authorization and the power and power to change anything that is not in alignment with my father's will. To change anything, anything that is that not is in not alignment, alignment with, with my, my father's will. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, give him a shout of praise tonight. Hallelujah. Give him a shout of praise tonight. Oh, hallelujah. Magnify your God, glorify your God. You, Jesus. He Hallelujah. is a wonderful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Moderator, brother Arthur, right back to you, sir. Have a wonderful night, sir. God yes, bless yes. you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Pastor David, man of God. Yes, uh, we are so grateful, um, you know, that you could have been on tonight and with your wonderful wife and to share with us, you know, from your heart what, mm -hmm. you know, the, the Holy Spirit has uh, placed in your spirit concerning um, Nehemiah 12. And, um, you know, we are receiving all that you have shared with us. I am just going to turn over now to my bishop uh, for any final words that he will have to say and, and to dismiss us. Bishop Owen, sir, it's over to you. Thank you, Brother Arthur. Congratulations again to the Johnsons for an excellent time of sharing, for a significant time prior altar, for leading the prior team of love and faith into another successful pronouncement before the Lord. We look forward to another session. You have elevated, promoted, and brought us to another level. We will keep that humility, the sanctification, the consecration, and the purification of our hearts before the Lord in all humility. By the grace of God, I am what I am. You are what you are. And his grace to you, to me, is not without effect. When you understand God's grace is unearned, undeserved, unfailing favor 
towards you, towards us. It will profoundly change you, how you feel and think about yourself and others. May those thoughts cement our hearts as we continue to pray one for another. We'll look forward to Wednesday night Bible study, to Sunday night, to Sunday morning service with the family. Just to remind us that Sunday morning service really will fall on Christmas day, the 25th of December, a unique time for Christmas to fall on. However, we have adjusted our time. Our service will begin at 9 a.m. and only go on until 11 a.m. It will start an hour earlier than per usual, and we will end much, much earlier because families want to prepare uh, dinner for their family or just a quiet family time. So we will adjust our time and allow families to go home, spend that time quietly before the Lord. Our service once again will start at 9 a.m. and believe it or not, we'll finish at 11 a.m. We will give announcement, make announcement, do all the celebration of birthdays and anniversary, sing the Christmas carols that you love the best, have a short, brief message, bless the congregants, and release them to go home in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you come at 12, we'll be gone. If you come at 1, we would further be gone. If you come at 2, ta-ta. Bye-bye. We love you, we bless you, and the benediction of the Lord be upon you. Greet one another and be blessed. The Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you, be gracious unto you, lift upon you the light of his countenance, and be gracious unto you. The Lord grant you his shalom, shalom, not in absent, not in missing, not in broken, but peace be to your house. Love you and see you Wednesday and on Sunday morning early. God bless you. Bye-bye. Blessings. 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 Good night, everyone. Thank you. Blessings. Good night.